In about 30 seconds, folks, we enter that serious part, seven minutes of terror. And the spacecraft comes to the atmosphere. We start to show signs of atmospheric heating. Temperatures building up on the heat shield, 1500 degrees Celsius. The plasma wave in front of that heat shield reaches 12,000 degrees Celsius. You can see some very nervous faces in the control center, but they're very familiar faces that have done these sorts of landings in the past. I noticed at the back of the room is Charles Alark, that's right, Charles Alarki, and also Charlie Bolton, who is the head of NASA, who visited here uh, to the tracking station back in April. We just saw the signal drop, and it appears to be changing back. So they just said they've seen a change in the signal, which means droplet shift. So the spacecraft is starting to decelerate in the Martian atmosphere right now. This is exactly what we wanted to see, so little roof, reserved flat. At this time, the pressurizing of the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, we use that for all the maneuvering out here. We're about to do. Mm -hmm. Now remember too, we only have direct communication with the spacecraft through the first few minutes of the entry into the atmosphere, through the atmospheric heating down to the time of parachute deployment. At that stage, the space valve drops from the horizon of the Earth's point of view. We're at a line of sight on the camera. But we can then use the Mars Odyssey space valve in Martian orbit to actually relay that signal back to us. We're also receiving that tone from the space station. Now, we're going to have to be able to get the entry phase now. The spacecraft is now starting to rapidly decelerate. We've reached that 21,000 kilometre mark and now decelerating down to about 3,500 kilometres per hour. So we're really bleeding off that speed fast. So we can now confirm that with that data that the space craft is aligned properly exactly where they want it to be, directly on the course of the landing and down the right Oh wow, look at the telemetry. About 390 kilograms of fuel left in the space craft. That uh, we are, uh, that they look pretty good, that we have a great control, we have control, we have the first uh, bottom here, and we should be heading for the target. Mm -hmm. Play ideal, the TDS warning, we look big. We're not being powered on. We're having a tone from the monkey here, in case that we uh, have seen, uh, we have seen heating of heat shields uh, through the bending instruments, uh, everything was fine, so that's effective. The spacecraft has survived peak heating on that heat shield through that atmospheric entry. During the setting line, parachute is coming up. Like yeah, that's about two minutes. Reminds again that animation at the bottom there on the wall is a little bit ahead of what we're seeing. And heat shield is coming up for separation shortly as well. 
I'm up 2.2. I'm at 3.6. Stable before parking again, uh, indicating that everything is fine. We're in heading weapons. Uh, we are standing by for straight up and fly right. And parachute deploy. Did he just say straight up and fly right? Yeah. Wow. Stable continuing to accelerate down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 bombers altitude. Stable before parking again, indicating that everything is fine. We're in heading weapons. We're in heading weapons. We're in heading weapons. We're in heading weapons. Predicted minute by parachute deploy. Downrange is 1.597 kilometers. So another set of ballast weights are separated coming out of separation from the back shell. This lines up for the parachute deployment and the shell separation. Parachute has deployed. <laughs> We are decelerating. Rick mode is already 150 meters per second. Selling 150 meters per second. On the parachute, that's extremely good news. Having the spacecraft on the parachute is absolutely brilliant. They have this one on the ground that can be an altitude reading. Hit you a pass that way. We're giving guys to prime the Emily engine to preparate the power play. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 monitors in setting. Oh, that had a car in range. Let me know if you've got a video warning. It is a battle field. Director of communications at this time. We may have lost our radio. So we would have lost contact. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers in setting. So that will be below the horizon from Mars's point of view, from the spacecraft's point of view. We want that. We want zones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we're continuing on out of this country. So we'll have communication mode through the Odyssey spacecraft relaying our Minus 10.8 meters, vertical velocity of minus 8. We are climbing 8 meters like we started able to standing by for batch of separation. Single velocity is still strong. Still not there yet. He's going to have a heart attack. Separated from the back shell on power flight. The descent stage is now separated from the parachute and we're flying down to the surface of Mars. Single dive in the air. Down to 50 meters per second. They are moments away from landing, folks. This historic moment in space exploration history. The Mars Science Laboratory, by the Curiosity, getting ready to set surface. So on the surface. Cut the velocity accordion nominal. Altitude error 5.9 meters. We found nice flat plates. We're coming in ready for sky cream. Getting ready for that more important sky cream move, lowering the rover down the beam beneath the descent stage. Sky crane is deploying the rover. Showing up there on the screen. Down to a descent rate of three quarters of a meter per second. Tango Delta nominal. Tango Delta nominal. Yeah, uh, you'll have to figure it out. Stable. Stable.
it's all right. It's not from the moment it stopped. So it's happy. It's a new song. 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 There's tears of joy. There's, there's Rob Manning, the guru of Venture Descent and Landing. Tears in his eyes. The guys that you should control there. All the men and women. Just done a magnificent job. And hey, okay, I would like you guys to give a big round of applause for our guys here at our station.
depending on where they're landing, my interpretation, we could be actually seeing sand dunes, dark sand dunes in the distance. That's awesome. Yeah. The chances of anything coming from Mars is a million to one. We go down one. Thank you. 